Just in the last couple of years, the third age pickaxe has soared to well above max cash in old school. But why? Within the Treasure Trails expansion in 2016, new third age items were added at insanely low drop rates, ensuring a nearly non-existent stream of them into the game. According to a Grand Exchange veteran I asked in the Flipping Utilities Discord, some third age items went from 200 mil to over 1 billion GP in just a week, and this almost certainly involves price manipulation. They also predicted that one group is hoarding most of them to get other rich players to invest, planning on doing a pump and dump, which sounds crazy, but something similar just happened last year in RuneScape 3. And according to those that know about the situation, that one worked a little bit differently. What happened was there were these players trading their friends back and forth and distributing screenshots of larger and larger sums traded, inflating the prices of many rares. For example, the blue party hat which peaked at 300 billion GP. Some people believed in the higher prices and bought at a higher price because they didn't want to miss out on rares skyrocketing even further. Little did they know that they were getting conned by the oldest trick in the book. But back to what we're seeing in old school right now. Another user agreed that prices are being artificially inflated. But on the other side, some people think the price changes are legitimate. Because take a look at this. The account in this picture was banned not too long ago, presumably with those 11 third age pickaxes, which are lost, never to be seen ever again. And since then, the pickaxes supposedly reached a new peak of 9.7 billion GP, or 100 billion RuneScape 3 gold. And we're even wondering if this image posted on Reddit was posted truthfully. This guy supposedly got a third age pickaxe and then sold it for 9.7 bill. But we can't find evidence that they're really going for that much. They could be for all we know, but that's the weird thing about prices is that whatever people are willing to agree on, that's the price the item will be no matter how low or high it is. RuneScape pump and dump schemes are as old as RuneScape itself, so this is all stuff to keep in mind as you observe item prices on the Grand Exchange going forward. And we don't know the true price of the third age pickaxe, but we are pretty confident it's at least worth three times max cash. But one unlucky fella sold a third age pickaxe on the Grand Exchange a few days ago. We can only assume they got it from a clue and they didn't know what it was because they sold it for just max cash, around 2.1 bill. They would have been better off using it for shooting stars. And speaking of shooting stars, Jagex intends to change them. A very controversial Reddit thread was posted earlier leading to a blog on the RuneScape website, where Jagex essentially stated that they'd accidentally invented a new meta that was never meant to exist. Shooting stars became so popular that the RuneScape servers were suffering, and also the game economy had been impacted. The main changes you need to know about are that a stars tier will deplete every seven minutes in the next game update. And since this will make stars go by faster, they're reducing the timer between stars as well. Further, crystal shards will no longer be mineable from fallen stars in Prifendas, which apparently was a bug to begin with, and random events will no longer spawn near active stars. Some people aren't going to be too happy about that one, but all of these factors should help with the world crashes we've seen recently and should balance stars out a little bit. But how do you guys feel about these changes? Sometimes the Jmods look at the comments below, so maybe write a comment. I'll pin the worst one. And welcome back to RuneScape Chronicles. Moldgoat Kirby's getting some free damage in at Baba. It's level 0 invocation here, so he's trying to skip an entire wave because it has such low hit points. One more ruby. One more ruby can save it. <laughs> Wait, this isn't good. Wait. Wait. <laughs> yeah, I think we call it. Yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> yeah, not such free damage after all. Flash is doing a solo hard mode theater of blood. One little misclick and it's all over. And Verzik had 1% remaining. Oh no. I wanna cry. I wanna cry. Dino's swooping in. Oh, oh, wait, 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 is it that, 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 what? 250 mil in three seconds. Better money than next. I curse thee with Dagonoths. <gasps> How could you? <laughs> Dying to Jad is not safe for hardcore group Iron Man. 
Yes, sir! The first fire cape on the group Hardcore Iron Man. And in that gear, what will he beat Dear Lola to the infernal cape? Great's out of food and desperately trying to make an escape. That's what Gregory would do. How are you, baby? For those who don't know, Jagex is running a survey about RuneFest. Does this mean it's coming back? Yes, we think so. That's really exciting. The link to the survey is in the description below if you want to check it out. Holy, what did I just find? No one can say paid actor. No one can. I was just hopping normally. We got two mil, not bad. Honestly, I'm actually gonna take it because I need it. Okay, that was definitely a paid actor. We're not sure what he said, but it looks like his prey is getting away from him. <laughs> he gets by with a little help from his friend, the Revenant Maledictus. Hola Lee on Reddit posted this video of their most recent Zuck attempt. As you can see, they didn't tag the set, and his shield is getting shredded. It's, it's DPS, 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 DPS. Pray for two big heads. No way! No <laughs> way! Dude, let's <laughs> go! And that is why the Twisted Bow is worth over 1.4 billion GP. Congrats on the first cape. I take it. I take it. Greg is deep in the wilderness when he sees someone in max gear log in. And they charge Greg immediately. Oh my f god. A max hit from max gear. But let's see the key. <laughs> Tommy's peeking at Ardio, but his victim has a trick up his sleeve. No! I just died to it! <laughs> that key should have gone to Ardio. Goose is minding his own business when he sees a PKer chasing what appears to be another PKer. A scold guy in Mystic. He sees an opportunity, so he player jumps him, taking the fight into his own hands. The guy switches into Black Dehyde and a Web Weaver bow, but it's too late. Smited for a Web Weaver. But the story takes a twist. Because the guy was an Iron Man. Ouch. Good luck getting that bow back. Greg's got a guy on the wire, but he catches a freeze to step underneath him. Come on! Oh my god! Oh my god! 15 mil! <laughs> yes! Yes! Lone Jim Rat is grinding spindle on his iron when a peak hair swoops in on him. Sit the f down, you sh dude. 34, no! Oh my god! <gasps> what? <laughs> this is a lesson to all of you to always fight back. Well, maybe not if there are two PKers on you. Freezing the PKer in the web. Smart. Two versus one, pure spam comes out on top.
We wouldn't know it, but there's Pegasian number two. It might be their second Pegasian, but it'll probably be a while before they have two Ranger boots to go with it. A few kills later. Yes! Let's go. Oh, that's a big one, man. Let's go, dude. Their fourth Primordial Crystal. One more and the Farmer's Primordial set will be just as completed as this video is. We'll feature more scapers on the next episode of RuneScape Chronicles.